This video is about the Irish War of Independence. From 1919 to 1921, the Irish fought for their independence from the United Kingdom. To mention is Michael Collins, a military leader, and the political leader, Eamon de Valera. There was a, an attempt to found an Irish Republic before, in 1916. This attempt failed. But from then onwards, a substantial number of Irish thought a violent solution is the right way to gain independence. There were quite a few internment camps after the Easter Rising 1916 in England and Wales, and there were universities of revolution. The rebellious spirit yeah, grew there. Sinn Féin won the um, 1918 general election in the south of Ireland, but the elected members of parliament did not go to London. They formed their own parliament, the first Doyle Aaron, so the first Irish parliament, and there they declared the independence of Ireland. It has to be mentioned that it was violence before the War of Independence. Republicans repeatedly attacked police and army. As mentioned, on the 21st of January 1990, the uh, first Doyle declared the independence of Ireland. In this context, the IRA was established, the Irish Republican Army, with a purpose to fight the British administration. So on the same day as the Declaration of Independence, most historians see the um, beginning of the War of Independence. An independent IRA group killed two policemen in the south of Ireland with the sole goal to a sole objective to provoke a war. They were actually successful and then the war could start. The IRA ambushed mainly Royal Irish Constabulary and they imitated the guerrilla warfare of the Boers 20 years earlier in South Africa. As a result, the Royal Irish Constabulary withdrew from rural areas and the Republicans took control there. Now the British reaction. At first, measures of retaliation were not authorized, but a few British forces did this and burned down Republican houses. Furthermore, the Royal Irish Constabulary was uh, reinforced, not with the British Army, but uh, with paramilitary units, the Black Tents and the Auxiliaries. They were firstly not too disciplined and were rather brutal, so not supporting the British cause. The work of the Secret Service was more and more successful, but there were also political measures to restore peace in Ireland. The country was divided into Northern, Northern and Southern Ireland, and both parts uh, got uh, home rule. Now the violence escalated the Bloody Sunday. On the 21st of November 1920, Collins, Michael Collins' squad, um, executed or assassinated, assassinated 14 Secret Service officers, and the auxiliaries retaliated going to a Gaelic football match and killing 14 civilians. A week later, and the IRA killed 17 auxiliaries, and now the British declared martial law in the province Munster and the counties Kilkenny and Wexford. Retaliations were now officially authorized, and this phase of war was the bloodiest. 70% of all casualties uh, were from December 1920 to July 1921. Now, the Ireland wanted to show British, the British cannot sustain their control over Ireland and they were occupying Custom House, but this operation failed miserably. So the British were still in control. Furthermore, the IRA was running out of weapons and ammunition, so it looks like this, this thing is, is soon over. But the problem was on the British home front. The government was under pressure because of um, its supposedly hard measures. Then, the 11th of July, there was a ceasefire, and we have negotiations in London resulting in the Anglo Irish Treaty. The treaty stated that Ireland will be a free state within the British Empire, having self government. So, you can compare Ireland to Canada or Australia. The English monarch remained head of state, and Northern Ireland had the right to leave the Free State, which they did. Michael Collins ordered um, to conduct a guerrilla warfare in the north, and the Anglo-Irish Treaty deeply divided the Irish Republican 
side and led to the Irish Civil War that should follow. This was the Irish War of Independence in five.